In today's busy world, driver distraction is on the rise and can lead to driver error. One possible error is failure to follow the proper steps for parking and exiting your vehicle. This may lead you to exit your vehicle without first shifting into park. Now, no safety feature can replace proper shifter use, but the auto park feature of your vehicle represents an extra measure of precaution. Your FCA vehicle may feature different display screens. Ram 1500 vehicles display the park, reverse, neutral, and drive indicators in a horizontal line, whereas Dodge Durango and Chrysler 300 vehicles display current gear indication only. Whatever the case may be, it's essential that you use your shifter properly. Let's take a look. Before you exit a vehicle, always apply the parking brake, shift your vehicle into park, turn the engine off, and take the key fob with you. When the ignition is off, the transmission will lock into park to secure the vehicle against unwanted movement. You can also check for the P in your instrument cluster display and near your rotary shifter to make sure your vehicle is in park before you exit. If you try to turn the engine off with the push button ignition switch while vehicle speed is below one mile per hour and the vehicle is not in park, auto park will engage and automatically shift into park. Auto Park will turn the engine off and switch the ignition to accessory or ACC mode. If you don't manually switch the ignition from ACC to off, it will do so automatically after 30 minutes. If you try to turn the engine off with the FOBIC ignition switch and the vehicle is not in park, the engine will turn off and the ignition will switch to accessory or ACC mode. Auto Park will engage and automatically shift into park once your speed is below one mile per hour. To remove the FOBIC from the ignition switch, you must manually turn the FOBIC ignition switch from ACC to run, then to off. Auto Park will also engage if all of the following conditions are met. The vehicle is not in park, vehicle speed is one mile per hour or less, driver's seat belt is unbuckled, driver door is ajar, the brake pedal is not depressed, and the engine is running. The message, Auto Park Engaged Shift to P, then Shift to Gear, will appear in the instrument cluster display, and the engine will continue to run. In certain cases, when the Auto Park feature has successfully engaged and shifted the vehicle to park, Park Sense messaging will be displayed rather than the Auto Park Engaged Shift to P, then Shift to Gear message. The gear indicator near your rotary shifter and in the instrument cluster display will also flash the last gear selected, indicating the need to turn the rotary shifter to park. If you try to shift into park while the vehicle is moving, Auto Park will attempt to engage, but it will do so only if your speed is one mile per hour or less. If your speed is greater than one mile per hour, the message, vehicle speed is too high to shift to P, will appear in the instrument cluster display, and the transmission will default to neutral. Once vehicle speed drops below one mile per hour, the vehicle will auto park. Never intentionally shift into park while driving, or you could damage the transmission. And remember, always apply the parking brake before exiting the vehicle. Dodge Durango and Ram 1500 owners should be aware. Auto Park will not engage while your vehicle is in four-wheel drive low mode. If you activate four-wheel drive low, the message Auto Park Disabled will appear in your instrument cluster display. If the vehicle is not in park and you open the driver door or attempt to exit the vehicle while in four-wheel drive low, a warning chime will sound and the message Auto Park Not Engaged will appear in your instrument cluster display. These warnings will continue until you shift into park or close the driver door. In general, always look for the P in your instrument cluster display and near your rotary shifter to make sure your vehicle is in park before you exit. Remember, when exiting a vehicle, you should apply the parking brake, shift the transmission into park, turn the engine off, and remove the key fob. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, refer to your auto park information card and your vehicle's owner's manual.